Stupid is as stupid does. So anyway, I guess they wanted some more this morning. Uh, I was watching a, a gov site of government auctions. But uh, so as I'm watching, then one of the neighbors the next door, they do the, the door slamming again. And then uh, this is about two minutes ago. And uh, the boop, the boop. And I walk out here. As soon as I walk out here, get here, I hit, you know, there's a, there's another one up the street, hits the horn, boop. So anyway, I guess they want some more, you know, like stupid people. So anyway, as I was thinking, you know, it's like they, these niggas are still so stupid. They really think that they're like winning with this, this nonsense, you know, because I was just thinking to myself, I was reading an article, I think, uh. One of the liberal rags USA Today, and it had uh, a woman, a black woman, how she was afraid for her son. I think she's only in her 30s, and you know, and I thought about it. You know what it is? That's a lot of them. A lot of the ones in that category, I can tell you exactly who they, what the type of girl they was. They're the same. They got pregnant real young, but she only had like one or two, I, I bet. So she's in her mid-30s, but her son is like really like 18, 19. See, the only difference between them and the ones that we might have called the hood rats is they just came from a good family. But they all was fucking when they were teenagers and got pregnant. But they, because there's plenty of them that I know, different types. So what happened when they got pregnant, their family still, took, the dad still wasn't there, you know. Or he, you know, later on he came back around, but dad wasn't there. And what happens, their family made sure she still went to school or even if she did drop out, you know, she still went, you know, got her whatever GD and went to school, but went to, you know, the college, community college, whatever. And so, you know, right now she's 38, 36, 35. Her, you know, her son, well, shit, she's 38. Her son probably 20 something. But uh, either way, they all got pregnant, you know, when they was young. But the one difference is the ones from the poor families, I'm talking, they all black. All these, we all go to school together. But the ones from the project, they kept having kids. These ones, they might have two because later on, maybe after they graduated, got on their own feet because their family helped them. You know, their mamas, their aunties, maybe even their dads, they had money. And so these are the women spreading all the, oh, I'm so, these ones right here, I'm worried because you don't see the ones who, who the same age, they got like five or six kids. They ain't worried about this. Stuff. Not because they don't care, because they tell, you know, they, they know. That these women, as soon as you read that article, she was like, oh, I'm some work, man. my son don't check in. What are you worried about? What's your son doing? You got to remember, I was a, a teenager, too, when all of this stuff really started. I ain't talking about racism. I'm talking about, like, you know, thug shit, gangster shit. So I know he ain't, he don't give a damn about no goddamn cop. He's not worried he's going to get killed by a cop. That's, matter of fact, she's putting her son in danger, spreading all this nonsense. That's why her son, when you see, you see it on them, they're taunting the cops. Ah, you can't, this, this, this. And that's what I'm saying. He's not worried about that. Any teenage boy, just like any boy who ain't at, if he the type, he ain't at home. If he 18, he ain't at home playing video games. He out in the streets. He like us. You're not worried about no cops. You ne That never crosses your mind. Y'all put all that shit out there. Just like little white boys, we never and like when I was never had no, inter, never had no interaction with the cops when I was a teenager. No matter what was going on, hell, and like I said, my day, motherfuckers, we be getting shot. Still didn't have no interruption interactions with the cops. Why? Cause we all scattered. Cause you knew the cops was finna come. You know, except for the people who you know, friends or whoever, or the gang members, or the, or the guy who got shot. You know, you gotta stay. But uh, everybody else, we was just at. It's a Friday. It's a high school party. You dip. You get the fuck on. You didn't. You didn't think about. Oh, we're gonna get beat by the cops. Hunt it down. Oh, da, 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 we're gonna go to. Da, 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 hunting us down. You know. You got the fuck on. And, and you really was just mad because now the party ruined and all the girls gone. So fuck. You know where we gonna go now? I don't know. Let's find to go downtown. See what's up down there. You know. Never worrying about the cops. Oh, shit. Well, now we got to be careful. They hunting us down. You know, none of this bullshit. And so these kids, they're spoiled because their kids are spoiled. That's why I started off with what I'm saying. You, you can say, you don't know these girls. Look, look, I don't care. Yeah, it probably was hard. I live, you know, it, yeah, to them, it was. It probably mostly just 
tiring not hard it was tiring because they like i said they had to go to they still stayed stayed in school you know the other girls the poor ones they didn't have to they just got on section eight or whatever the projects just kept having babies they ain't work you know the girls the same age but these type of girls the ones that's you know trying to be the powerful black woman you know i, I raised myself up the blah 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 Bitch, ain't nobody trying to kill your son. Your son is out there taunting people. You know what I'm saying? You can see it on the video. They out there, damn, 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 you can, you know, big ass six foot, 18 year old acting like a little bitch. Like I said, when I was 18, we was 18, we avoiding the police. It, it's 12 o'clock on a Friday night, early Saturday morning. You know, like I said, your partners will put you in check if you swerve it nigga pull over you can't drive this is my mama car i can't let you drive nigga she gonna kill you if you wreck your her car you know and plus you don't want to die nigga you swerve it no we not we don't want you and this is way back in the day you know you don't want to we you literally we say that we don't you don't want to kill nobody do you you don't want to kill up pull over let somebody else you know let steve drive you know whatever let him drive or i'll drive but you can't drive you know you swerve it you gonna get oh you gonna get us pulled over, and that's gonna ruin our night. We weren't worried oh you gonna get us pulled over and we don't get killed or beat up by the cops. None of that. We just like no nah, nigga you gonna fuck up the vibe. We having a good time, and that was it. And so like I said, it was oh you know all on USA Today and all them liberal mags, all them liberal rags. You know New York Times. I'm worried about my son every time. He don't why why what is your son doing? What is your son doing? That you're so worried about him, it's a it, whatever. It's nighttime and he ain't check in. What is he doing? Y'all watch too many of them fucking movies. They trying to they put out where they're trying to be uh powerful. You know, didn't they make one where it was two black teenagers supposed to be just having fun? You know, that's what. At least in our generation, they told the truth. Like men to society, right? They got beat by the cops one because they was in L.A. But two, they was also it was honest. They was doing shit. They were stealing cars. They started off killing people. So there was criminals. That's why they got beat by the police. They never, the only time they got beat by the police was when they were stealing the car and they got caught. And they put the dogs on them. There was no just excessive police brutality. You know when old dog and uh, Kane got caught by the police. The movie was honest. They weren't just... Innocent teen, you know, like these in these modern day movies, they make it. They just too innocent, and I ain't saying there ain't no innocent black kids. I know that, but, but y'all per per perpetrating this shit. Y'all got these kids out there to put this in their heads. There, you got to remember they're boys, and a lot of them are big boys in men's bodies, six foot two, eighteen years old. You putting it so now that that they should be angry. Black Lives Matter. Y'all setting these kids up, like I said, sacrifices. Ain't nobody finna let that big ass boy beat them. I wouldn't let him, you know, I don't give a fuck if he black. I ain't finna, and I'm a, if I was a cop, I'm not finna let you beat my ass or kill me. You crazy as fuck. That's why the cops quitting. Y'all crazy as hell. Y'all putting all this anger in these big ass boys head. Man childs, man children. It, 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 you, worry, you can't be worried about your son. You must be so into witchcraft. You sacrificing your son. Remember, that's another thing. Remember how the rappers back in the day, they all used to make videos and talk about, uh, you know, by the early 2000s, uh, the, the, uh, the industry and, and the Illuminati and the people having to sell their souls and Jay-Z and all them. Never, it was never nothing about racism and, 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 until the liberals took over, until the white folks took over. All the old school rappers, remember the blood sacrifice. How come all that disappeared and it turned to, and you don't really have any real rappers. All you got is these, these lunatics, these losers, you know, uh, athletes and all that T.I. dumbass. But before T.I., because matter of fact, when they was all the rappers, when that blood sacrifice, T.I. and them was still a new rapper. They were still new school. They were still the new rappers on the block. And so all the old school rappers that have been out, they were talking about the industry in Hollywood and selling your soul to make them. Remember, and it was all on the, the DVD. I remember my friends, they brought the DVD. Yeah, hey, you seen it? It was all on the street. You know, the DVDs, blood. I think it's on YouTube. You know, blood sacrifice, all this and that. You know, and that's why Pepsi, they killed him. And, you know, this, why he overdosed it. This and that, you know. And... 
why all of a sudden, how come they weren't talking about racism? If, if racism is systemic racism, why they were talking about just Hollywood, just music executives? They were, none of them, some of them said racism, but most of them was talking about gay shit. They were saying you had to goddamn do gay, and like uh, it was a couple of them, 8 Ball, MJG, UGK, they were saying they wouldn't do the uh, little gay rituals. They ain't say shit about racism. The thing they were saying was gay shit. That all the rest of the rappers, that's how they got, that's how, remember, that's how it used to be. If you wanted to get famous, that's what you had to do. Had nothing to do with racism. And like I said, I ain't excusing white people. It, it, there's no reason to. I never had, I, like I said, I ain't never been jumped on putting a chokehold. I think I got, the, as an adult, I got in a fight with a white boy once. And we went back to doing what we was doing after the fight was over with. You know, it started. It's over with, you know, two dudes, hot heads, and that's all it was. Then we went back because the fight was over with. And I don't mean went our separate ways. We went back, sat back down at the table, both of us. So, you know, actually it was funny because they thought uh, I was going to whip them. But actually I was the one who really uh, uh, stopped it. Really because I was just, I guess I was getting kind of older. It was like both of us like, man, I'm tired. You tired? I was like, yeah, I'm tired. Both of us got tired. Like, that's what really ended the fight. But uh, that was the only time I got to fight with a white dude as an adult. And, uh, but the thing is, like I said, remember back then it was just in the 2000s. But see, the liberals, they they say, oh, we got to get in on this. This is a way we can get back in, you know, win the, win the White House and get all this and that. Racism, racism. And you're like, well, why the rappers got to be the authority on the subject? They were the ones who were really in the industry. They were the ones who started out like the rest of us. Think about it. They didn't start out, you know, rich. They started out in the projects, you know, da 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 and now they're like in the industry. Some of them are music executives, you know, like Master P. And, and so, you know, some of them are now millionaires, started off selling drugs. So they never said to them too much about racism. What they did say was just you got to learn to, to get your publishing rights and all that type of stuff and own your own shit. That's all they remember. Just go back through time, go on YouTube, pull up all the shit. Hardly anything about racist. Da, 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 da. The only thing they was warning boys about was getting fucked in the ass and sucking dick. That's all they were saying. They were saying they refused to do that. Some of them, and they were saying that's why the, some of our favorite, you know, that's why a lot of us bought into it. Because some of us that that we considered real good rappers, you know, you couldn't understand why they didn't make it. And it didn't matter. They were talking about violent stuff. Da, 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 da. But they didn't get pushed. But Jay Z, he made it. He was talking about selling drugs. And suppose he really sold. You know, he really sold drugs. So why he made it and all the other ones didn't? So you know, we were like, hmm, this don't make sense. But then when they started speaking out, they didn't say racism. None of them said, oh, you know, some of them might. Have, I think Ice Cube, the only one that was always hollering. But he, you know, the Jew, Jerry Heller. But the rest, you know, they all were saying it was just no. They wouldn't do the gay shit, the gay ceremonies, the that that type of shit. And now all of a sudden you got all these these fruit jobs like the the fruit job that just when he used to be a I'm, I, they need to investigate his ass. He just got elected. He used to be a middle school principal. You know all these fruit jobs getting into politics, talking about racism, Black Lives Matter, and all that. But you see what I'm saying? You need to check and see how many of them kids that he was principal. You know might have a story. But my battery finna run out. I got charge up my phone. <laughs>